Welcome to my cooking studio. Our dish for today is braised lamb shank. Lamb shanks are an inexpensive cut of meat, begging to be slow cooked. Slow cooking turns this tough cut of lamb into the most tender, succulent, fall off the bone meat, while creating a luxurious depth of flavor in this delicious gravy. Season lamb shanks with salt and pepper. Heat 1 tablespoon of oil in a heavy based pot, over medium high heat. Sear 2 shanks in the hot oil until browned on all sides. Repeat with remaining shanks and oil. The best flavor develops when browning the meat first, creating layers of flavors right from the beginning. Browning lamb shanks can take up to 10 minutes with their uneven shape, but it's worth every minute in the end results. Then transfer to a plate when it's ready tent with foil to keep warm, and set aside while preparing the aromatics for the next steps. Add the aromatics such as onions, carrots, celery, garlic, and all the fresh herbs that needed, rosemary, thyme. Then cooked in the same oil and pan juices left behind from the shanks ensure the flavors continue to develop. Add bay leaves, black pepper, corn and tomato paste to complete the flavors in this sauce. This recipe is very versatile in that you can use your favorite herb combination or leave them out altogether. Thyme and oregano work well here too. Pour the wine into the pot and, using a wooden spoon, start scraping up all the wonderful brown bits and caramelized stuff from the bottom. Keep deglazing in this way, scraping and reducing, adding more wine if necessary, over high heat until the bottom of the pan is completely smooth. Braised in red wine becomes incredibly tender and will entice you to settle in for a warm night at home. Put in the stock that you prepared to use. Mine I use chicken stock added to submerge the shanks, give them flavor and tenderize the meat. Season the liquid with freshly ground black peppercorn, salt and boyan powder to balance the taste. Return seared lamb shanks to the pot, pressing down to submerge and bring to a boil. Then reduce the heat to medium low. Cover and simmer until meat is tender, about 2 hours. Remove the lid and simmer to allow flavors to concentrate for about 20 minutes. Cover back the lid to keep it warm. Continue boiling sauce until thickened, about 15 minutes. Spoon sauce over shanks before serving. This step-by-step -step creamy polenta recipe shows you how to make the best cheesy polenta, a creamy, comforting dish to serve with braised meats, roasted vegetables, or savory tomato sauce. Bring the water to a boil in a heavy-duty stainless saucepan, stir in the salt, gradually sprinkle the polenta into the pan while whisking at the same time. Turn the heat to a very low simmer, cover, and continue to cook the polenta for 25 to 35 minutes until it's thick. Add the fresh milk, stir in salt at the same time till until it's thick, fluffy, and begins to pull away from the sides of the pan. Stir frequently so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. When it's done, remove from the heat and stir in the butter, cheese, and additional salt to taste if needed. Serve warm, sprinkled with rosemary and additional cheese, if desired. 
If you are watching this far, I'm pretty sure you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, so every time I have new upload cooking video you will be notified. Thank you for watching, see you on my next video.